Interrupting me, and I'll tell you. A helicopter? Yeah, Caboose, shut up. Hey, Tucker, you're interrupting now, too. Everybody just get out of here. Me? I'm just trying to punch up the storyline. Check this out. Hi, everybody. I'm super horny from all the robot killing. Hey, is it hot in here? Who wants to help me out of this heavy armor? This breastplate is so itchy. Bow, chick, bow, whoa. Story's over. You're a pig. I didn't even get to the part where the sailors show up. Just tell us, what did you see? Um, it was a really big thing. That's your story? You saw a big thing. Ah, uh, my story had a big thing in it too. You just didn't give it time to develop. Well, I didn't really get a clear look at it. At Tucker's big thing. No, dumbass. At the big thing in the base that attacked me. All I know is that it was slimy and it had lots of teeth. Kinky. Seriously, dude. Cut the shit. We've got a situation on our hands. Well, how did you fight it off? Fight it off? You must have me confused with someone who's brave. I got the hell out of there. You're telling me you left your body behind? I had to get out of there fast. That body was just dead weight. I know the feeling. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Some slimy tooth monster scared the crap out of church. <laughs> didn't scare the crap out of him. He scared the soul out of him. Oh, it's church. What's the difference? His soul is made out of crap. Stupid crap for soul. For all I know, he's in there chewing on my body right now. Well... Then let's go get this big thing of yours. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Tucker. Somebody call for a really hairy plumber. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Tucker, shut up. I came here to lay some pipe. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Tucker! So I hear you got sisters. Bow, chicka, who are twins. Wow, wow. Shut up. Hey, are you a model or famous actress? Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Shut up. Bow, chicka, 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 shut up. Close. Thank you, sir. No! Good. You're going out of turn. I thought I went after Simmons. No, we go in line. It goes you, then me, then Simmons, then back down to me, then you, then me, then me, then Simmons, then me, then me, then Simmons, me, me, Simmons, you, Simmons, me, 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 Simmons, you, me, then me again. It makes perfect sense. But doesn't that mean you go twice as much? Or ten times as much? Ow! This is the best game since Griffball. I'm not coming down. Hey, Griff! Move back and forth like one of those ducks at the carnival. No, don't duck. That makes you harder to hit. Act like a duck. Wait a minute. That was my turn. This is the lightning round. Who's in the lightning round? Me. 
Alright, fuck this. I'm coming down! Ow! I said I'm coming down! Yeah! Buzzer beater! Take that, you stupid duck! We haven't seen that alien thing come out, so it's probably still hiding in there. Or... Eating church! Alright then. Let's roll. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we're not moving. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. We're still not moving. Does Talk A count as moving? All right, screw it. You guys get behind me and stay tight. Not joking about well. Never mind. Tucker's in front. Eh, it was worth it. All right, men. Stay out of sight. We have to be prepared for anything. Uh... Why are we hiding from our own base? Because we have no idea what's inside. Anything could have occupied the base after we jumped into the future. Oh my god. What if we're in there? Yeah, no. Wait, aren't we out here? I mean past versions of ourselves. We could go in there and meet ourselves. Oh man, we'd be best friends. We'd have so much in common. Finally, someone who shares the pain! Donut, that's not how time travel works. We don't leave copies of ourselves behind. And even if we did, they'd all be 800 years old. They'd all be dead by now. Speak for yourself. I could live to be 800. I'm on this awesome diet. You're still doing that high-fat, low-fiber liquid diet where you drink nothing but bacon grease? Nah, that was just a fad. What's the new one? I only eat foods that begin with vowels. That sounds really hard. What did you have for breakfast? Eggs and Oreos. And for lunch, I'm having asparagus. And Oreos. Holy crap, I've been on that diet for years. I had no idea I was so healthy. I even cut out all the eggs. And I don't even know what asparagus is. All right, men, stop your chatterboxing. We've got to keep our eyes open for any sign of enemy activity. I can't have you not paying attention. You have to be alert. Constant vigilance. Composed. Attentive. See, that's much better. Hey, why didn't you bring that glowing thing? No way, I'd rather have a gun. But I've got a gun. What are you gonna do, shoot it with ghost bullets? Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Hey, I'm Casper, the friendly bullet. Hey, see anything? Nope. You know, Andy was here when I got attacked. Maybe he knows something. Hey, Andy. Andy! Hey, look who's back. The dickhead. Hey, up yours. You back for another beating? It must be ass kick o'clock. Where's that big alien thing? I don't know. Last time I saw him, he was halfway up your ass. Is this mom giving you a hard time? I see you brought a girl with you. What, are you gonna have a crying contest? Hey, look, there's my body right there. Lag. Huh? There it is! Jesus, run! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die when the movie is that thing! Run! Women and children laugh! Run, 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 run! <laughs> what, you leaving already? That's fucking hilarious. Ah, run, 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 run! Hey, wait, wait! Yeah, Caboose, we won! This is our victory lap! <laughs> hey, come back in! I think you're tiring them out! <laughs> you're killing me! <laughs> I'm telling you, it was here! It drove by while you were talking! You had your back turned, and it went zoom right behind you! Well, it really sounded like... <laughs> That's not the important part of the story, Donut. Sure, Simmons, I believe you. You saw an enormous tank that appeared miraculously and then just as quickly disappeared. And you're the only one that can see it. Just like signs of Donut's heterosexuality. No, I'm not. Donut saw it. Yeah. Donut's impressionable. He'd agree with anything you said. Yeah. Oh, hell, he'd eat a spoonful of dirt if you told him it tasted like chocolate. <gasps> That's not true. <laughs> so that's where you draw the line? No, I mean, it's not true that dirt tastes like chocolate, right? Seriously, right? Okay, Griff saw it too. We all saw it. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see a damn thing. What? Tank, you say? I have no idea what you're talking about. I was too busy paying attention to our sergeant while he gave us our orders. Oh, really? Well, what did he say? Something inspiring about beating the blues and the base or the flag or, or something. I'm pretty sure he mentioned the polecat too. I was getting a little emotional at the end. You see, Simmons? Some soldiers know how to pay attention. Wow. That might be the first time you've ever actually complimented. Shut up, dirtbag. Griff, you just told us all two minutes ago that you saw it. Yeah, I know, but it's a lot more fun this way. Ah, uh, man, 
I just cannot fucking stand the idea of my body laid in there. <laughs> you never look better. Hey, shut up, Andy. You know, we could have taken that alien out if I'd have hit him just a few more times. A few more times? How about one time? Well, I think I landed at least two or three shots. Yeah, right. You didn't hit anything but the wall. How the hell would you know? You were running straight backwards. This is a long-range weapon, okay? I need distance to use it effectively. Where were you planning on shooting him from? The fucking moon? If you'd have backed up any further, you'd have had to mail him the bullets. You know what? I work better alone. You ladies stay here. I'll be back in two minutes with that thing's head on a platter. Does it ever bother you that the most take-charge guy on our team is a girl? Not at all. As long as I get my body back, I don't care if I'm a hero. What? <laughs> well, Church, you're kind of a long way from hero. Wouldn't it have been better to say, I don't care if I'm a participant? Or maybe bystander? Shut up. Or a decoy. Hey, Caboose, don't help him, okay? Hey, she's going in. You guys think she can take him? Oh, crap. Nope. <laughs> something with you. And you can't let Simmons know. Whatever. I think that Simmons has gone mad. It's probably some kind of time travel post-traumatic repetitive stress syndrome. In scientific terms, he's developed cranial insanitosis. Basically, he's gone bonkers. Sarge, I'm not crazy. I really saw a tank. And apparently he's developed some kind of mutant telepathy power. Clear your mind, Griff. He can hear your thoughts! No, you guys just left your mics on again. I keep telling you not to do that, because you're just wasting the batteries. Oh, and guess who we charge? Clearly he's sabotaging us with his superior technology. Griff, I need you to step up to the plate. You're my number two man now. Does that mean more work? Of course. You'll have to do Simmons' regular duties on top of the responsibilities I normally entrust you with. So basically just Simmons' duties, then? Right. Luckily, we still have Donut. So no one has to fill in his shoes. Donut! Combat situation! Yes, sir, I'm on it. What a pro. Simmons, I mean Griff! Establish a perimeter! Huh? What's that? Make a border around us, and make sure no enemy crosses it. Ugh, that sounds like a lot of effort. Can't I just go back to being number three again? Number three? What do you mean, number three? All right, Donut. Can I go back to being number four, then? Aunt Lopez. Fine. I'll be number five. I don't care. I don't know. That O'Malley guy can really work a rocket launcher. But he's the enemy. I'm not real particular. I get to work on that perimeter. Bogey approaching. Sir, I really think we should be looking for that tank. Hold on a minute. Let's just take it easy there, Private First Class Dick Simmons. But I... Hey, what? Why did you use my full name? Riff. What in Sam hell are you doing? I secured your perimeter, sir. Now I'm gonna go over to the chow hall and secure some Oreos. I got a diet to keep up. Break time. Honeymoon's over, Numb Nuts. You're back down to number seven. Oh yeah? Well, I saw the tank too. Maybe Caboose should try talking to him. Uh, what would I say? Start with some common ground. Like how you both killed Church. Hmm, good times. You know what, I actually like that idea. You do? Well, think about it. Well, our ambassador here is either being A, eaten by the alien, or B, digested by the alien, you and I can sneak back in and get our bodies. I would make an excellent ambidastor, because I am very shy. Get away from me, freak. You know, if that word's too hard to pronounce, you can just call yourself bait. There's my body. Oh yeah, hey, look, there's your body. <laughs> you really didn't make it very far, did you? You know, I wonder, if I killed a ghost, would it come back as a ghost of a ghost? Yeah, that's a good point, I'll shut up now. Hey, Andy. Say, have you seen it's a, a big, uh, slimy, like, alien-looking thing? It's, uh, it's shaped just kind of like that shadow that's on the ground next to you. Oh. All right, man. Donut, the 
Lieutenant Simmons has been demoted for reasons of dementia. The tank was real! And he's been ordered by the judge to stay at least 200 yards away from us. Oh, come on! That wasn't a real judge! That was Donut wearing a powdered wig! Over! <clears throat> Overruled. Shame on you. We are now holding auditions for the permanent position of second in command here at Blood Gulch Outpost Number One. What? And since Simmons is disqualified because of the aforementioned cuckoo-ness, and since Griff is ineligible, or because I don't want to compete, because you're ineligible. No, I just don't want to compete. Of course you don't, because you're ineligible. <sighs> Whatever. I guess that means I get the job because I'm unopposed, which is the same way I got most likely to be fabulous in high school. Actually, Donut. I managed to find some other candidates for you to compete against. Huh? We've located an old wrench used by Lopez and this skull of unknown origin. Some dirt and a rock entered the preliminaries, but they didn't make it to the semifinals. Lazy bastards. Yes, you guys are going down. In your face, wrench. In your face. Take that, bonehead. <laughs> Woo! You'll be competing against each other in a series of grueling events in order to gain my attention. First up, the obstacle course. Griff, get the alligators. I thought I was ineligible. To earn my respect, dirtbag, you're still perfectly capable of grunt work. Oh, man, I can't believe this. My life was going exactly as planned. I was second in command of a marginally successful unit. I had a superior officer who genuinely cared about me. I had the respect and admiration of all my peers. That was the dream. How did it all go so wrong? How? How? Maybe that stupid tank was just a figment of my imagination. I don't think so. Shut up. You ruined my life. I think I will call him Crunchbite. Eh, that's a stupid name. Uh, well, I think it's better than your suggestion. Crouch a sword. Who's, who are you talking to? Holy shit! <laughs> Stop! He is my friend. <laughs> he is not going to eat anybody. Yeah. He thinks you guys stink too much to eat. He thinks we stink? It smells like someone set a fish on fire in here. Caboose, what the fuck, man? Are you sure about this thing? Absolutely. He has not tried to bite me at all. <laughs> since he bit me the first time. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. I think I might need a tetanus shot. <laughs> Whoa, that thing's breath smells like infected cheese on a hot plate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he likes that. Oh, man, what is that stench? Is a skunk juggling dead hamsters in here? It smells like old yogurt. You eat and then throw up a can of trash? That's exactly what he said right before he bit me. Do you understand what he's saying? Wait, wait, wait. I think I'm hearing a pattern here. I think that blargs come after humps. Or... Vice versa. Blarg. I think I think blarg meets Blarg. me Blarg. or Blarg. apples. Blarg. Guys, Blarg. apples Blarg. must be Blarg. the name of his cat. Blarg. Quick, quick, Blarg. is is apples Blarg. stuck in a tree? Blarg. I will call the fire department. Blarg. Mr. Huge Blarg. Alien, Blarg. do you understand what we are saying? Blarg. I have no idea if that means yes or no. Blarg. Totally blows away or vice versa Blarg. theory. Sorry. Blarg. Blarg. You two are retarded. You're not going to be able to figure out alien language by experimentation. Give it up. You don't know that. You don't even know how they talk. What if their language isn't entirely verbal? It could be part telepathic. Or via smells. Oh, well, it's via smells, then you should be fluent in the language already. Oh, jackass. Oh, shut up. You're not helping. Wait. I think Tucker might be right. I think he might be saying things telepathically. I just heard something in my head. What? What was it? It was a voice saying, Blarg, 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 Hog. <laughs> that wasn't in your head, Caboose. He just said that. You're just so dumb, you're lagged a few seconds behind us. By the time your brain figures out what it's heard, it feels like it's already happened. That's not true. Wait! <laughs> I hear something else in my head! <laughs> It must be Apples trying to communicate with me. Quick, Tucker, get a ladder. All right, nerdbags. After the third round of the competition, it's still anyone's contest. Yeah, burn, wrench. Anyone includes me. <laughs> Donut was leading after the obstacle course and talent contest. Awesome. But then the mysterious skull pulled ahead during the question and answer session. That doesn't seem physically possible. So the standings are the skull, no luck, and in third, the wrench, which is the current crowd favorite. 
Ha <laughs> ha, maybe the skull will be your new sidekick. Hey, Sarge, how can I kiss your ass if I don't have any lips? And in last place, Griff. What? I thought I was ineligible. Ineligible to win, dead man. Luckily, there's no chance of that happening since the last round is a evening wear competition. Oh, ho, ho, <laughs> you're in trouble now, Skull. Then can I quit? Of course not. Only eligible contestants can withdraw from the competition. <sighs> I guess you'll just have to settle for fifth place, Turdbelly. Fifth place? Should I even ask who's in fourth? I'm reserving fourth place for any late entries who would obviously be better than you, such as a turd or a turd farmer. Hey, Gary, is there any way that you can translate what this big alien is saying to us? No. Aw, oh, come on, man. Isn't this one of the aliens that built you? Yes, but I do not know much about those creatures. I was only programmed with knowledge of the ship known. I mean you. Yeah, listen, man. That word is really starting to bug me a little bit. You did not even know what it meant until I told you. I know, but you just say it so much. I only say Shizno in context, like when talking to a Shizno or about a Shizno. I think I see what you mean, Shizno. So you'll stop. Interspecies prejudices take a long time to overcome, but I will try. Thanks. Luckily, I am not lazy like Shizno. Yeah, it's pretty clear you mean to give this your best effort. I think the important thing is that I am trying. Okay. Church is trying to get a translator so that we can talk to each other. Tucker. The enormous alien doesn't speak our language. Speaking slowly is not gonna help. What? I'm talking to Caboose. Oh. I don't understand. Are 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 you hungry? Tucker, are you hungry? Are you cold? What? No. Do you need a blanket? Tucker, do you want some hot dogs in a blanket? Damn it, no, Caboose, I'm not cold. I don't want a hot dog, and if you put mustard in my fucking sheets again, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, gargantuan alien. Now that we have decided to keep you, you need a real name. I vote for Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy! The alien that only loves! He's got to have a name. Why don't we just ask him? Hey, alien dude, what's your name? Name! I am Tucker. This is Church. That's Bitch Pants McCrabby. Hey! Well, that's what we call you. Not me. I call you Mrs. McCrabby. Thanks. What? is your name. <coughs> your name. <coughs> name. Just keep repeating it, Church. I'm sure he'll come up with the right definition on his own. He is Tucker. Tucker. You are... <coughs> no, no. No, not Hong Kong. Name. <coughs> okay, I give up. All this guy says is Hong Kong. Well, have you ever considered the fact that his name is Hong Kong? <coughs> Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? Yeah, I mean, seriously, what kind of name is Hong Kong? Blarg? Hey, Big Alien, is your name Hong Kong? Blarg. Hey, wait a second, I think Blarg means yes. Alien, does Blarg mean yes? Blarg. Holy shit! Blarg means yes! He just said yes! Blarg means yes! I speak alien! Yeah, unless Blarg means no, in which case, he just said no. Blarg does not mean yes. What? No way. Hey, Alien, am I right? Blarg. Haha, <laughs> see? What the fuck do you know? After the final tabulations, we've declared a winner! Griff, the envelope, please! Envelope? We don't have any envelopes, this is the army! No, that's the winner! Oh, yes! Well, my life's officially over. Time to go kill myself! Wait for me! Look, no offense, imaginary tank, but I don't believe in you. You're just a product of my imagination. Actually, I'm a product of the military contractor that made the lowest bid. I'm a little ashamed of that. Well, leave me alone. I can't have some imaginary tank ruining my excellent reputation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go dig a hole to live in. <sighs> I wish Griff was here. I could convince him there was food underground. Then he would dig half a hole for me. Or maybe a third of a hole. Then he'd use the shovel to eat oatmeal. On second thought, I don't wish Griff was here. You can live with me. Just ignore it. It's not real. I have my own base. In fact, I've made lots of renovations since you all left. See? Hey! That's the old blue base! Yes! I was sent to guard it from something. I can't really remember what. Some of my memory banks have failed over the years. Do you remember what the blues were fighting? Uh, I think it was pirates. Are you sure? I think it was another army. I think they were a different color. No, it was definitely pirates. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, pirates. And I think there were some ninjas that were working with them. No... 
I don't think so. And I think they had traveled from another planet. Incorrect. I think it was called Cowboy Land. Negative. They were here to rustle up some cattle. No. But the blues were going to stop them. No. No, wait. Monkeys. Monkey pirates. Nope. From Uranus. My logical data analysis sector indicates that would be highly unlikely. And my bullshit meter agrees. Church! Church! Hey, Church! I'm right behind you, dumbass. Oh, hey, Church, do you have a knife? No. That's a weapon, dude. Ask Tex. She has something to take care of. Girl stuff, I think. Huh? Like what? <laughs> I don't know. I stopped asking questions at girl stuff. What are you two guys doing? We're gonna teach Alien how to speak English. How are you gonna do that? People learn English all the time. It aren't that hard. Maybe you should try learning his language. Fuck that. We got here first, and that makes this a colony. Those are the rules, dude. Earth colony? Earth language? Tucker, there's thousands of languages spoken on Earth. Yeah, but only one that kicks ass, and that's the one we're teaching. English 101. Remedial kick-ass. All right, there is no way this is going to work. Yeah, it is. We got visual aids and everything. Where the hell did you get those? We made them. Turns out Caboose's gun didn't have any bullets. It was loaded with crayons. I just need to cut one of these things. You have a pocket knife? Hey, if you need to cut something, why don't you just use that big sword of yours? Oh, right. Duh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man, Ducker. That thing either really hates that sword or really hates you. Get the second thing off me! <laughs> Wait a second, Ducker. This might be a good chance for us to evaluate how these things fight. Now hold still. For science. Not the face! Not the face! Sarge, can you hear me? Sarge, come in. Sarge, Sarge, do you read me? This is Simmons. Come in. Hello, Red Army HQ. We don't stop until every blue is dead. Donut, let me talk to Sarge. For help in English, press or say one. One. Para español, marque numero dos. One. One. What? God damn it. For unconfirmed Dutch Irish, press one, two, as in also. Donut! Oh, hey, Simmons. What's up? Donut, put Sarge on. Ooh, yeah. Sarge is really busy. Things have really picked up since you left, uh... No, Donut, I'm not here! Let, let, let me see. Do you mind if I put you on hold? Just take a message. Donut, stop screening my calls. Sorry, Simmons. Sarge isn't available at the moment. I tell you what, I can ask him to call you back, but... It's really better if you have an appointment. Oh, for the love of God, I can hear him, Donut! Would you just tell him that I've captured the blue base and... And I've taken possession of their tank? Right, right. Simmons... Tell him we've got call waiting! Blue no, no. base. You're going through a tunnel. Tank. Tank. Are you really writing this down? Look, I have to go. We have a conference call with Griff in five minutes. He's pitching ideas for how to use your rations. Gotta run. If anything comes up, we'll call you. And Simmons? What? This job is the best. I can't believe you quit. That's it. I'm gonna kill them all. Hey, Sheila. Lock and load. We got somewhere to go! No, no, no. Alright, Bob. We need to talk. <laughs> talk about what, Butch? Working on cars and picking up chicks? Excuse me. <laughs> is that any way to talk to a lady? <laughs> a lady? Who are you kidding? I bet you got more balls than a Roman candle. Ugh. I knew this was a bad idea. Hey, Tex! Why you got black armor? Couldn't find any in flannel? Listen, jackass. Flannel. I put you together. I can take you apart. Hey, what do you mean? Bombs come with remote detonators, dumbass. And any time I want, I can just hit a button and you're just a memory. A very annoying, very insulting memory, but nonetheless, a memory. I think you're bluffing. Dyke. Okay, strike two. All right. What do you want? Well, when I built you... I used parts from an old protocol robot. Yeah, sure. And you also used parts from some of your more personal devices. Whoa, okay. Can you use those protocol parts and translate what this alien thing is saying? Of course. But what's in it for me? Let's put it this way. You don't push my buttons, and I don't push yours. All right, fine. But I'm not translating any of that touchy-feely crap. Deal. Come on. Well, are you coming? What am I going to do, roll there? Pick me up, you dumb bitch! Great. I can tell this is starting off well. Hey, Tex, I bet you haven't had your hands on a ball this big since your morning scratch! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, come on! Tex, baby, where you going? It's just a joke between the two of us guys, come on! 
Laugh it off, big guy! Laugh it off! <laughs> hey, Tex! When you walk away, I can see where you tucked it! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. There is no way I'm gonna let this happen. I told you, he can do it! Yeah, I'm qualified! Listen, I don't doubt that he can do it. I doubt that I want him to do it. Why? Well, you know what, Andy? You're not exactly the most diplomatic of individuals. That's bullshit. You're only saying that because you're a racist. Racist? Bombs are not a race. Eh, shut up, you dirty shizno. We finally make contact with an alien being, and our first attempt at communication is going to be through a bomb? Am I the only person who has a problem with this? Well, unless you got your English to blog blog dictionary, I don't think you got a choice, now do you? I had one of those. If I threw it out, it didn't have many pictures. I'm sure this will be fine. You know, I feel like I'm going to regret this, but I feel even more that I just don't care, and that watching this whole thing unravel might be kind of interesting. Go for it. All right. Where's the alien? Oh, shit, I forgot. Ow, ow, ow. Riff! Oh, great. There you are. Where have you been? Right here. I've been looking all over for you. I looked in the base, I looked around the base, I looked on top of the base, I looked in the base again. I think you need to learn what all over means. Anyway, Sarge wants you to come back to the base and... No, I'm not going to do it. No? But I didn't tell you what he wants. Donut, it's Sarge. I know he doesn't want me to come into the base to help him eat ice cream. He wants me to do stuff. Work stuff. But... Listen, Donut, I know you're riding high on your new promotion right now, but don't think you can order me around. Me and Simmons, we had a system. He didn't try to tell me what to do, and I didn't ignore him. Wait, you ignored him all the time. I'm sorry, what? I wasn't listening to you. See? The system works. Learn the system, Donut. Look at those jerks. They don't know how good they have it. All right, Sheila, remember the plan. We don't want to hurt them. I just want to make them totally jealous for kicking me out. How does my armor look? Am I all blue? Yes. Okay, let's start Operation Blue with Envy. You know, because normally it's green, but I'm gonna, I'm blue. But it doesn't make any sense to say, y you know. Attack! Hey, Sheila, you know what's great? Being on blue team. It's so awesome. Way more awesome than being on that old red team. Anyone can be on the red team. We have to share a base. On blue team, I get my own Is base. that Simmons? Hey, Simmons, why are you painted blue? Have you finally lost it? This isn't working. They don't care. Sheila, just shoot at them. Firing main... I did my best, Sarge, but Chris said he wouldn't come help. Son of a Ben and Jerry! Who's gonna help me eat all this ice cream we found? Ah! We're that. under attack! Donut! You formulate a retaliation strategy! I'll secure the rim raising! Oh, man. I'm gonna die. <laughs> What's he say now, Andy? Look, guys, if you want me to translate for you, you can't keep asking me every four seconds, What's he saying now, Andy? What's he saying now? I'm gonna tell you what he's saying. That's my freaking job. That's what he said. That's a weird thing to say. Uh, tell him I said, okay, I will not ask any more of, uh, that, and also, no. I think I need a translator just for Caboose. Okay, basically, he's, uh, he says he's pissed off. Oh, really? He's, hey, no kidding. Tex, are we paying for this service? Just give him a chance. He says he came to claim some type of thing, and that the teal one took the thing, and now the thing is gone. Who's the teal one? You are, idiot. No way, I'm Aqua. Teal's out. That thing that he's talking about must be that sword, and it's not broken, it's right there. He says... It only works for the hero who passes a trial of the windmill and retrieves it from his resting place. For everyone else, it might as well be broken. Uh-oh. Trial? Please, I fell in a hole. That's not a trial. I'm starting to like this culture, though. Any dude who trips is a hero. I'm pretty sure that makes Caboose God. This all sounds like bullshit to me. No, he's right. It didn't work for me, remember? Of course it didn't work for you. You're a girl. I mean, you can't even work the entertainment center back at the base. Doesn't mean the remote control is mythically attached to us. All right, then, you little smartass. You pick it up and try it. <laughs> nah, I'll take his word for it. <laughs> and now you gotta go with him to fulfill the prophecy. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 
good one. Uh, yeah, he's he's not too thrilled about it either. See, I knew this was a bad idea. Sorry to fuck up your quest, dude, but I'm not going. And if you don't go, he'll destroy the base and kill everybody here. Alright, well, have fun, guys. Hey, your quest sounds fun! Come on, Tucker! <laughs> I think you should stay here, because I like that killing everybody option. And after we cross the burning plains of Honka Hill, we're going to reach the freezing plains of Blarganthia. The burning plains are next to the freezing plains? I bet there's some pretty wet plains in between. This is so dumb! I'm not doing this! Hey, newsflash. You don't have a choice. You're the one that picked up the sword and locked it to yourself. I know! And I'm so used to picking up things and not letting them get attached. I'm talking about women. I know, yes. I got it. Don't worry, Tucker. We're not gonna send you alone. You're coming with me, Tex? Me? Hell no. This is the first thing you wimps have done that actually sounds dangerous. Well, I'm not going with church. That guy's a worse fighter than I am. Well, you're in luck then, because I'm not going either. What? Then who? No fucking way. I'm not going with him. Oh, 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 I hope we meet a cleric along the way. None of us knows how to heal. He says he's a healer. Oh, good. <laughs> Not really. They eat their wounded. <laughs> Just like chiropractors. This is a joke, right? You're sending Caboose? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I saw a chance to get rid of Caboose and I took it. There's nothing wrong with me. Okay, so, um, Tucker is the fighter, uh, Crunchbite is the healer, and I am the powerful... An intelligent wizard. Morphew Max. What the hell does that make me? You're the good looking and stealthy archer. A bow and arrow? I don't have any arms, you freaking moron! That is what makes you so stealthy. This is going to be the best party ever. I'm gonna fucking die. Yeah, I guess this is it, Tucker. <laughs> nice knowing you. Oh, you better hope that I don't die, because if I do. You're the one taking care of my kids. You have kids? <laughs> Probably. Firing me. Yeah, take that. Suck it, blue. I mean red. Suck it, blue. Uh, damn, red. Yeah, this is harder than I thought. Hey, Simmons, what the hell are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm attacking the blue base. I mean the red base. Fuck. Defense is established, Sarge. Cancel that, Sarge. Defenses are destroyed. Killing our own team, huh? That's cool. Hey, listen. How long do you expect this whole crazy thing to last? I'm not crazy, Griff. You just wouldn't listen to me when I said there was a tank. I listened to you. You told Sarge that there wasn't a tank. There it is! It's a tank! Oh, you said listen to you, not agree with you. Yeah, I thought that joke was pretty funny, but now Donut's my manager and everything kind of sucks now. Well, too bad, because this is what you get now, you dumb blue bitch. Red bitch! Fuck! You know what I mean? Great sodium chloride! There goes my chemistry set! I don't think killing Sarge is much of a punishment for me. Just come back to the base, man. I'll let you boss me around again. I don't know. I think you're just telling me what I want to hear. I am, see? It's just like old times! Come on, buddy! Will you help me clean my armor? How about I promise to help you clean it, but then just convince Donut to do it later? Ah, good old Griff. Simmons, is that you? Yeah, Sarge, but don't worry. We got Simmons, I can understand you're going crazy and seeing imaginary tanks. The tank is right there, for the love of God. And I can obviously understand why you'd want to attack your own base. You can? But painting yourself blue? Dear God, man, don't you have any shame at all? Hey, Sarge, you should also note that he missed a couple of spots. Griff, what in Sam hell are you doing out there? At least Simmons has the intelligence to formulate a mutinous plan. Thank you, sir. I mean, suck it, Blue. God damn it, I mean red. But you're a slothful idiot. Treason takes effort. I never expected this from you. Oh, up yours. What was that? Up yours, sir. That's better. Well, good luck, guys. Don't forget to change your underwear at least once a day. Tucker, that goes double for you. What? I'm the cleanest guy here. No, it goes double for you because now you're in charge of changing caboose as well. I hate you. He doesn't wear any pants. Yeah, we noticed. If we meet anybody on this adventure, that might have to change. Why? We're used to being naked. Free balling. Come on. Commando. Let me just put it this way. I felt less threatened when Tex was staring at just a sword. Huh? What? Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I, I was just admiring his... his alien muscle structure. Yeah, one particular part of his muscle structure. Well, that's just a matter of penis. I mean, uh, opinion. Opinion. That's... Smooth. You told me it was another arm. <laughs> hey, Caboose, 
High five! I don't want to do that anymore. Tucker, come here. I want to talk to you for a second. Listen, just drop off this weapon and get back to blue base as fast as you can. What if I have to kill stuff, dude? I'm a lover, not a fighter. You know, Tucker, I'm the same way. That's why we get along so well. We're both just a couple of lovers. That sounded kind of gay, dude. Yeah, it did. Um, I feel obligated to say something encouraging as your boss. Our captain died. You're just the guy pretending to be my boss. I mean, y you know, in our given situation, technically you could be seen as one of my employees. Except that I'm not. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, I just, as, as someone in an employee-manager relationship... Which doesn't exist. <sighs> Why did you pull me aside again? You know, I'm sure it was to say something inspiring or something, but now I just don't care. I'm a go, man. Ooh. Hey, lady! Come on, hustle up! If you gotta use the bathroom, do it now, because I'm not pulling over. You know, I have to say I'm a little surprised that you're not going with them. Why? Quests are dangerous. Yeah, but they usually have some kind of big reward at the end, you know? Like some big treasure chest, or an entire room filled with gold and art. It's not really like you to pass up on something like that, Tex. Tex? You're gone, aren't you? I really should have seen that coming. Well, this is a tough one. Simmons appears to have captured Griff, which means we're down a man. And now that man has taken Griff prisoner. So does that make us even? What's one plus a turd? Damn it, only Griff can screw up math. Hurry up, Griff. You know, Simmons, you don't make a very good hostage taker. My last prisoner experience was much cooler. What? You haven't even yelled at me one time. You're doing everything right. I think yelling should be reserved for only the most critical of situations. Like when someone drinks milk out of the carton. Come on, Simmons, I'm a prisoner. You should be jabbing me in the back with your gun and saying, Get moving, scum! Get going! Louder! I said move! Yeah, that's it! Move it, soldier! Okay, seriously? That hurts. Man, these guys really like blue lights. I mean, I know this is blue base and all, but come on. You don't have to beat us over the head with it. Get in the hole! You have a hole? Whoa, now that's cool. I take back everything I said. This is much creepier than my last time in the joint. Move! Dude, if you keep doing that, this is gonna get old quick. I said in the hole! Ow! Who's a bad hostage taker now, bitch? Um, I think I found a design flaw in your hole. What? Get back in there! <laughs> Woohoo! Look who's back! God, this sucks. Seriously, dude, you have to try the hole. It's really fun. Ugh, what are you doing? Get back down in there! Whee! Look, I came out backwards this time! You're supposed to- You're the prisoner! Stay down there! Hey, he's been explaining to me everything we should encounter. The legend's pretty old, but the details are pretty clear. Listen, dude, I don't care what you say. I'm not killing any monsters. Hey, don't interrupt! It's hard enough to translate without well, you- Well, if this little quest depends on me killing stuff, we might as well just stop here. Eh, don't be a chicken. I'm not chicken! I'm just... Okay, I'm chicken. War? War, war. Blacky black, black, black hunk. What's he saying? He wanted to know what a chicken is. I told him it's this nasty little bird that humans eat. And you also eat the white things that shoot out of its butt. You know, you could have cleaned it up a little bit. I did. They don't come out of its butt, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty disgusting. Chickens aren't that bad. He was talking about you guys. He's not a big fan. I'm not either. <laughs> Earth sucks. <laughs> Earth does not suck. Earth rules. We invented the telephone! <laughs> he says they invented the telephone, too! And they did it a thousand years before you did! Oh, well, what'd they have to say on it? Blarg, blarg, honk, honk? Who the fuck wants to hear that? Blarg, honk. Okay, these are the great burning planes we talked about. They don't look burning. They look burnt. Hey, I recognize this place. Get ready. He's gonna distract the monster, and you use your heroic powers to swoop in Heroic and... powers? Yeah. You're the big hero from that prophecy, ain't you? Oh, right. Boy, you guys are gonna be disappointed. And don't forget, go for the weak spot in the armor. Yeah, and where was that again? We already went over this! Apparently paying attention to lame biology lessons isn't one of my superpowers. Burn. Be quiet! Burn. Get down! He just wants a moment's Burn. peace before the plan fails and we all get killed. Burn. Oh, sorry. I wasn't supposed to translate that last part. He says... Uh, don't worry, everything will be fine. Stick to the plan. Okay. Are we adding get killed to the end of the plan? Go! <laughs> what happened? To what? The big monster. It's dead, look! That thing? You gotta be kidding me. You guys were here already? Yes, uh, before now. That's what already means, Caboose. Oh, they just... 
Yes. Yeah. You already killed the monster? Dude, that's a cow skull. I kill about ten of those things every time I eat lunch. How's it going, Sarge? Well, Simmons has had Griff prisoner in there for far too long. He's probably subjecting him to all manner of unbearable torture. I figure in just a matter of hours, Griff's spirit will be as broken as his body, unable to cope with the never-ending stimulation of pain and horror. But in answer to your question, things are fine. Could be a little warmer, but I can't complain. But Sarge, aren't you afraid he'll give away valuable information? Why would Simmons give Griff information? No, I mean, what if Griff tells Simmons valuable information about our operations? Yeah, that sounded smarter before I said it. I bet. Speaking of operations, though, remember how I told you I wanted to incorporate more positive reinforcement techniques in review sessions? Donut for the last time! Me calling you a worthless turd is not a review session. And remember how you said any proposals had to be submitted in handwritten triplicate with no less than 100 pages? Yes, which would take weeks. You're finished, aren't you? Only if calligraphy's okay, and I dotted all the I's with hearts. <laughs> <sighs> Let me just give you a little teaser on some of the changes. Think mauve. No, oh, donut! What, you don't like it? Mauve is a form of red. Oh, it's not that. I just realized that my only way out of this situation is to launch a rescue mission to save Griff. I've got me one of them, uh, donut, what's a fancy word for choosing between two things you don't want to do? Uh, conundrum? Dilemma. A threesome with cheerleaders? I'm gonna go with conundrum. If you don't like the plants idea, how do you feel about a fountain in the armory? That place is so gloomy. Come on, donut, give it a rest already. I agreed to let you use Griff's helmet as a decorative bird bath, didn't I? Don't oversell. Okay, but I have just one more idea. I'm gonna say two words and then walk away. Chantilly Lace. Unless you're about to start singing a Big Bopper song, I think the best part of that idea is the walking away. Let it simmer. Mm, no sign of any defenses. I think we might be catching Simmons at a weak moment. Mm, no sign of the tank either. Dear God, the madness is spreading! It's only a matter of time before it takes me! Whee! Did you hear that? It sounds like they're having fun in there! Clearly, Griff has become so stupid, he's mixed up the yells for pain and happiness. Simmons must be doing absolutely diabolical things to him. Let's give him a few more hours. See if he escapes on his own. Simmons, I am having a blast going in and out of your hole. Griff, just stay down there like you're told. Well, that's my cue. Let's go. Griff, stop it. I need your help. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, just stop riding that stupid grab lift. I can do both at once. Then why don't we have one of these things? The tank's been making upgrades to the base over the last few hundred years. How did it do that without any tools? Or arms? I don't know. A lot of what she says doesn't match up. I think she might be lying to me. You think the enemy's weapons are lying to us? What a surprise! It seems like a setup. I just can't figure out how. How? I don't know. If I can piece it together, maybe that'll help fix things with... Sarge? Hello, Simmons. Where's Griff? Well, this here's a rescue operation. He's unconscious down below, being prepped for evac. If it's a rescue operation, why did you knock him out? Well, all work and no play, you know. <laughs> That's dumb. I think you know the proper procedure for submitting complaints, Simmons. <sighs> I'll get my calligraphy pens. Don't bother. I think you also know how we treat traitors on Red Team. I'm guessing you're not cocking that gun to give me a one-gun salute in honor of my new promotion. I don't think so. Simmons, just remember, this hurts me more than it hurts you. I seriously doubt that, sir. Well, it hurts me almost as much as it hurts you. I don't buy that either. Well, I am the one who has to clean the shotgun later. And those solvents smell something- Booyah! Thank you, Gobo! Oh, the back of your head! Well, that was close. And I always wanted to say booyah, too. That was awesome. Booyah! Where the hell did you come from? Huh? Oh, you must be one of the new blues that took over our base after we left. Listen, don't be afraid, but I'm from the past. Why would I be afraid of someone from the past? People from the future are scary. People from the past are savages and idiots. Oh, oh, oh. what the... Who hit me? Hurry, quick, before he wakes up, help me get this guy in the hole. We have a hole? Let's kick ass! Alright, this is the Great Swamp. We can rest here a while before we move on. Yeah, let's rest in a swamp. That makes sense. Save your energy, Tucker. You're gonna need it. Oh, screw that. So far, this quest is a fucking breeze. I've already killed a dead monster. What's next? We're gonna open an unlocked door? Rescue a princess from herself? Hey, Caboose. What's wrong? I think something is following us. Yeah, it's 
been on us since we left. Part of the prophecy talks about something evil that tries to take the great weapon. You mean my awesome dead monster killing weapon? It can have it. It's attracted to it. It can't live without it. That doesn't sound good. Hey, Caboose, come here and hold my sword. It's okay. We got a plan. We can make camp, and then we'll tell you about it. I love camping! Guys? Andy? Caboose? Alien thing? Guys? Anybody? Now, Caboose! <gasps> we got it! Is it safe to come out yet? Caboose? You were supposed to help! I was helping watch. What if something had happened? I'm sure I would have seen it. Hey, what the hell? Where did you guys go? We laid a trap. A trap? You left me all alone. <laughs> you can't have a trap without bait. I was the bait? I thought you did a very good job. Get off of me, you stinky idiot. Tex? This is some greeting. I come to help you guys and you ambush me. You weren't coming to help. You were coming to steal the sword. No, I wasn't. I was coming to steal your reward. There is no reward. The reward is a sword. Oh, then yeah. I guess I'm here to steal the sword. Oh, yeah, yeah, and also the salvation and emancipation of his species for all eternity. Tell you what, I'll go 50-50. You keep the emancipation, and I'll keep the sword. Oh, deal. What do I get? You get to live, but no guarantees. That's not a reward for me. That's a reward for all the fine ladies in the universe. I'm a woman, and somehow, I don't feel any luckier. I said fine ladies. What do you want, Caboose? I want a pony. Sarge is freaking heavy. Hey, blue guy, where'd you go? I need some help. Listen, Donut. Church thinks I'm a blue guy. So whatever you do, just pretend like you don't know me. I don't know you. Yeah, just like that. Good job. No, I'm serious. I have no idea who you are. Okay, stop practicing. Here he comes. So does that mean you're not going to tell me who you are? Okay, that's a little too far. No one's going to buy that. Ugh. You know, I could have used some help, new guy. Thanks. I was just securing this prisoner, which is interesting considering that I've never met him before. Why is that interesting? I don't know. Is something wrong with your voice? Oh, I was just disguising it so the prisoner wouldn't think he knew me. What? But he doesn't. Do you, prisoner? Um, no. Right. Good job, Donut. Wait, is this some really weird form of torture? Okay, well, help me load these guys in the Jeep before they wake up. Okay. Donut, grab the ankles. Okie dokie. How's this? Sarge's ankles, Donut. Step it up, guys. We're almost there. I'm telling you, the alien has really been creeping me out lately. Every time I wake up, he's hovering over me. It's really weird. I'm sure he's just safeguarding his sword. I mean, my sword. Maybe he just wants to steal your breath. Maybe he's trying to figure out what I taste like. Hurry up, you idiot! Man, did it get a lot colder all of a sudden? Of course it did! They don't call it the Great Freezing Plains for nothing! Whoa. I'm just glad I brought my mittens. The snow is the least of our problems. Why? I assume we have to get into that big temple base thing? Yeah. Well, it's got about two dozen guards on its walls. Oh, no. Yep. Doesn't look good. No, no, no. I mean, I lost some of my mittens. Um, we have to go back. Caboose, we've been walking for days. We're not going back for anything. Suggestions, Andy? I say we let Tucker storm in and take him out in a mad rush. And while he's got him distracted, we finish the quest. On second thought, personal warmth is very important. Let's go get that mitten. It'll be like a mini quest. I think surprise is the key. What you thinking? Let me take them out one by one. They will never know what hit them. You think you can kill them all without alerting the rest? Just watch me. How can I watch you? You just turned invisible. And yet, I was still able to check out her ass. That's why I'm a pro. Okay, Donut. You wait till we're gone, and then you can wake them up. Well, what do I tell them? I don't care. Tell him you busted in and rescued him. Get yourself a medal. You deserve it. I always did want to be a hero. And a liar. Well, then it's your lucky day. Don't you want anything? Like what? Well, every time someone surrenders, they take something. Like when we took the medic, and you guys took Griff's dignity. Yeah, like that ever existed. Uh, I mean, which one is Griff? Is he the yellow one? And this time you guys don't want anything? Well, technically you're not surrendering. This is what we call in the military a total ass-kicking. Oh, and also, we're taking your car. What? 
You're leaving us out here without any transportation? We'll die! Die of what? Exposure! We're stranded! This is murder! Your base is right there! I can see it! You may as well just feed us to the buzzards right now! You could have walked back to the base in the time we've been discussing this! Go! Just sign our death warrants! Oh, no! Oh, what's going on? Hey, take care of that guy. Sorry about this, Sarge, but look at it this way. You were right. This does hurt you more than me. Is that you, Simon? No, oh, knocked out again! Hey, Reg! We're guarding the shit out of this wall, you suck! Your wall needs to guard! Try ours! You don't have a roof up there, you suck! What are you guarding it from, birds? You suck! 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 No, you do! We suck! No, you suck! Okay, never mind. You suck! Oh, those guys? How did they get here? Shush! Tex told us to be quiet. Caboose, we're 300 yards away. I don't think they heard us. I think I heard something. I'm sure that was just a coincidence. Alright, after she takes out those three one by one, we probably stand a chance. Ow! What the fuck? That hurt! Ow! Or maybe not. Ow! Ow! Jesus! Ow! Stop it! Uh-oh. Did you watch the game last night? Yeah. Go red. What's that? Red sucks. Now you're shooting me! Give me a break! This sucks! What the fuck did I ever do to you? Come on! What the fuck? Are they deaf? Oh, right. That you heard? Huh? What? Hiya, fellas. Who's next? Charge! That was well. Not much for a sneak attack. And that's how I rescued you both and saved the day. The end. Any questions? Donut, that was the longest story I've ever heard. And I don't think I believed a word of it. And quite frankly, I found the show tune in the middle to be a little over the top. Every word is absolutely true. It was the best military operation that you two ever slept through. If everything went so well, then where's our jeep? Well, I have a song I'd like to sing about that. Forget it. Okay, that red one? That's Sarge. He's our leader. Which is lucky for us because... Well, he's not that good a leader. Okay. And the one next to him is Donut. I like Donut. He's pretty harmless, man. I, I don't think he'd hurt a fly. Yeah, plus he's a little... A little what? Yeah, no. No, I, no, I don't know. You know, he's kind of into girly stuff, like feelings and... Oh, you know. Uh, I think you might be projecting there. I'm not projecting. I'm just stating an observation. I don't know, man. Seem pretty defensive for somebody who's not projecting. His armor is pink. Pink? I wouldn't say pink. Maybe, you know, slightly less red, but... It's pink, trust me. I know pink when I see it. Uh, yeah, I bet. You want to talk about it? No. And last is the orange one. That's Griff. He's really lazy and really annoying. Yeah. But at least he's smart. In fact, I think he might be the smartest one of the bunch. You mean smarter than all of the ones there now? No, I mean all of them put together, man. There's this other guy who hangs around in maroon armor. I haven't seen him in a while, but he's a freaking know-it-all, man. He acts like he's smart, but he's really not. What? Yeah, he walks around like he owns the place. and you know, you, you know, But nobody listens to him, and they always make fun of him behind his back. What do they say? Oh, just how he's not good at stuff, and how he's dumb, and how the stuff he likes is dumb, and also that... You know, he's not as attractive as other people are. Yeah, he sounds like a real jerk. Hey, where are you going? I have to use the bathroom. Well, hurry up, man. I want to finish your orientation before you have to make me dinner. You do know that's Simmons, right? Oh, yeah. Look at this, Sheila. This is a thing of beauty, what I have here. I'm amazed. Whatever. We have got every single vehicle in this canyon. We're unstoppable. This is, I have my own fleet. I have my own fleet of cars. Three vehicles and only one guy to drive them. Big deal. No, the important thing is that they don't have any vehicles to... Hey, is there a problem here? Problem? Why would there be a problem? I, uh, I don't know. You just seem, uh, you know, agitated. You think I'm agitated? Well, I, I, I didn't mean... Well, I, I don't no, mean... it was your word, agitated. You said, you sure seem agitated, Sheila. So I guess that means I'm agitated. Don't I seem agitated, Church? I'm just I'm just saying you seem a little upset. 
Oh, so now I'm upset. Which is it, Church? Am I agitated or am I upset? I don't, I mean, I don't really, I could, I could go get a dictionary. Why would I be upset? Uh, I don't. Well, would you be upset if I got a bunch more blue guys to come hang around and help me? Well, actually, there are three other guys in the squad. Exactly. This isn't a parking lot, Church. It's a team. A family. Are we just supposed to forget everything we've been through? Right. Including the time that you killed me. How about if I suddenly decided I wasn't the blue team's tank? What if today I'm feeling just a little bit red? They're just cars, Sheila. I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that. Hey, is there like a jealousy setting somewhere on you that I can, you know, turn off? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Tucker, use the key and open the gate! Key? What key? I don't have a key. Well, Your sword! The hell use the sword! Oh god, the sword is a key? Just when I thought this couldn't get any lamer. What is that thing? The ship! What ship? No one told me about a ship! Hey! Come back here, you stink nugget! Get her! Hey! What's that thing? Where's he going? I don't know. He just kept saying, there it is! There it is! I thought you said there was no reward at the end of the quest. I didn't know! If you're pissed about that, wait until you find out that this sword is really a key. A what? Andy? Hey, don't blame me! I'm just the translator! Uh, I think the alien is coming back. That alien! Go away! Uh Uh-oh. Get down! What? Oh, was he coming to kill us? He was saving us. That's a good alien. Well, a deal's a deal. He owes me that ship. Andy, tell him to bring that thing down here and... You still want me to tell him? Because I think it's down already. Turks! Wyoming? Connecticut! They're not playing a game, Caboose. Well, if they were... I would have told totally what. Well, it appears I've spoiled your little game. So sorry, chum. That was my ship. Oh, dear. Then I stand corrected. I'm not sorry. You're going to pay for that. All out of change at the moment. Get you next time. Kiddio. Get back here. Huh, that didn't go quite the way I expected. You think we should wait for her to come back? Or finish a quest on her own? Or just go home? Charge! Yeah, let's go home. You okay there, blue guy? I'm fine. I, I told you it was just allergies. Oh yeah? You know, I never heard someone say boo-hoo-hoo when they sneeze. I'm fine! Good. Well, then now I can give you your orders. Um, first of all, that jeep out there is really dirty, and I think that... Why, why are you giving me orders? Uh, because that's the way the blue team works. Technically, you're the new guy. I should be telling you what to do. Uh, I don't think so, man. See, back in the day, uh, the way this worked was Command would call me and give me the orders, and then I would pass them along to everybody else. Okay, it works like this. I would get on the radio like this, and I'd say, uh, uh, come in, Blue Command, come in. This is Blood Gulch Outpost Alpha. Do you read me? And then normally this, uh, really annoying guy would come back, and he would say, Hello, hello. Come in, hello. Well, that was a pretty good impression. Can you do Arnold Schwarzenegger? I'll be back. That wasn't me. Uh, hello? Hello. Come in, Blood Gulch. Can you hear me? Hello. Try the veal. Hello. What? V- Vic? Is that you? It's been 800 years! How have you survived so long? Oh, no way, dude. Vic's dead. This is Vic's great, 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 Vic Jr. And you work, and you work with Blue Command? Oh, right, dude. Good one, dude. Blue Command. Wink. Wait a minute, what, what, wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? Does it, is the war over? Did we win? Dude, I got a lot to catch you up on. You wanted to see me, Sarge? Yes, Griff. I think it's time we buried the hatchet. Started working more closely together. Say what? Isn't that like a sign of the apocalypse or something? As you know, I've never liked you. Not even a little bit. Really? You've always been lazy, insubordinate, and I suspect that underneath that helmet, you're probably extremely ugly to boot. No argument here. Over the years, I've been so disappointed in your work, I've slowly stopped giving you things to do. Most days, I forget you even exist. Yeah... It's been a good run. But I think we all need to realize that Simmons is not coming back. 
Red Team is just going to have to make do with the few worthless soldiers we have left. Wait, didn't this start out as a pep talk? We may never know why Simmons left. Yeah, maybe he was overwhelmed by all the positive reinforcement you give out. But the fact of the matter is, we're at war. If we're going to win this thing, we need to work together. We need to put aside our disgusting laziness and our constant attempts to kill each other in our sleep. I've never tried to kill you in your sleep. Damn it, Griff, this is a compromise. I realize I'm going to have to give up some things as well. Halt! Who goes there? Donut, it's me. Oh, right. You. What do you want? I want to talk to Sarge. I just found out some info. Wait, why am I answering your question? I said hold it. What's your problem, Donut? Sarge told me not to let anyone in the base, and I'm pretty sure anyone includes the enemy. I'm not the enemy. Oh, please. You're dressed in blue. FYI, there's kind of a theme around here. You're blue, I'm red. More like pink. I have a gun. Okay, okay. I only dress like this to trick the blues. You helped the blues. And fooled them. You knocked Sarge out. Twice. Once again, Donut, to fool the blues. And to work out some unresolved issues with father figures. But look, just go ask Sarge. He knows it's me. Hell, even Griff knows it's me. Oh, sure. Everyone knows who you are but me. No. The blues don't know either. Hey, Sheila, where'd that Simmons guy go that was spying on us? I don't know. Why don't you go ask your new jeep? What's all this racket? There's an enemy trying to get into the base. Where? Right there. Where? Behind Simmons? He means me, sir. Oh, Simmons! Why didn't you tell me it was you? Donut, I did tell you it was me! Well, you didn't say it was you. You just kept saying, I'm me. I am me! But you didn't say you were you. If you had said you were you instead of I'm me, I would have known that you were you. You just kept saying you were me. That's because I'm me. And thus ends another meeting of the Pronoun Club. Same time next week, everybody. Well, now that we have that straightened out, I have some important information. I don't want to hear it, Blue. What? This is valuable information about the war. There's no such thing as valuable information from a traitor. But, sir, I only did that because no one would believe me about the tank. Sarge, Simmons has issues with his father that he displaces on you. No, Donut. That's why I punched Sarge in the face. I left the base because I wasn't fulfilling my undying need to please other people. All right, enough. The next person who tells me about Simmons' feelings is getting court-martialed. Simmons likes to go in the bathroom and cry while he punches the mirror. Well, I'll go pack my bags. Nice working with you guys. Good luck with the blues. It's been real. Oh, look who's back. The Conquering Heroes. What's up, guys? Meh. Hey, where's Tex? Gone. Where's the alien? Dead. Well, how'd the quest go? Failed. Yeah, you know, I, I probably didn't even need to ask that last question, did I? Yeah, I wouldn't say failed. But these guys definitely screwed it up, Roy. What? We didn't do anything! Exactly! You let Tex do all the work and got the alien killed. Yeah, but doing nothing is what we do. So, technically, we didn't screw anything up. It's true. I have a first place ribbon in doing nothing. It's the same ribbon as last place. It's purple. Was Tex okay? She's fine. None of us are that lucky. She chased after Wyoming. Tex? Yeah. Wyoming? Yes. Massachusetts. Seriously, stop it. Tucker, why didn't you tell me this? Tell you when? We just got here. Yeah, but you've been wasting my time gabbing about your stupid failed quest. Uh, I really wouldn't say failed. This conversation's stupid. I'm hungry. Where's the food? Listen, anytime you have new information for me, just tell it to me as quickly as possible, okay? Well, here's one short, blanket statement that covers all future situations. We suck. I said new information. Don't we have anything to eat in this place? Been like that since the swamp. Swamp? You guys were in a swamp? Yeah. It was dark and swampy. I wasn't scared at all. Is this why you guys came home so fast? No, we came home because the alien died. And because the uh, glowing sword turned out to be a, a, a glowing key. Yeah, a glowing key that can still stab people. Right. So it is a sword. Just happens to function like a key in very specific situations. Or it's a key all the time, and when you stick it in people, it unlocks their death. God damn, man, I would love to live in your world for about ten minutes. Yeah. I have a really good time. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. You know, I don't think I get anything done, but I probably wouldn't care that much. Oh. Hey, Tucker, you okay? Oh, why don't you guys come in here? Uh, because it might be contagious? And because we've got to think about the health of the unit as a whole. I came up with that pretty fast. And because you threw up ten minutes ago! And that's just gross! Hey, wait a second. You don't think that sword... You beat the key? 
No, I mean the sword. You don't suppose that sword is making him sick, do you? I don't see how. It isn't Steve's blood. We don't know anything about it, though. Maybe he runs on radiation and it's poisoning it. Or maybe it runs on solar power. Wait, now, why would solar power make him sick? Is he a Republican? Okay, listen, guys. Do you want important information about the war or don't you? I don't know, man. This is a pretty exclusive club we got here. If we let one blue guy in, we might have to let the next one in. And the next one. And then there goes the neighborhood. Yeah, pretty soon we'll have to let in women. And who wants them? Yeah, then we'd be talking about interior decorating and reality TV shows all day. No thanks. Griff, it kind of ruins my point when you just mentioned the good stuff. I'm sure the blues are using the information right now to plot an attack against us. <laughs> that better have been in your bucket. I'll get them up. Well, you can forget it. You heard, Sarge. There's no way we're letting you in the base dress like that. Seriously, the blue and red thing is so last year. Well, how about this? How did you change so fast? I've always been a fast changer. I'm very shy. Is that why you wear your underwear in the shower, too? I also never use the bathroom at the base. Only at home. Dude, we've been stationed here for like three years. Yeah, it's going to be a very eventful homecoming. Andy, what in the hell happened to Tucker in this little adventure you guys took? How should I know? He ate all my food and just threw it up. Could have just thrown it on the floor and cut out the middleman. Yeah, plus now he's moody as hell. I went to ask him if he's feeling better and he practically bit my goddamn head off. I bet he just would have thrown up your head later. And then you could just put it right back on and it'd be fine. He was fine on the trip. Maybe he's allergic to you. I know I get nauseous when I look at you. Did you guys come in contact with anything weird, like any strange plants or animals, or like super flu viruses or porn stars? Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot to mention. We invaded a secret biological warfare lab run by porn stars. Tucker licked all the Petri dishes, even though we told him not to. Then he got thirsty, so he drank everything in the test tubes. You think that had anything to do with it? I'm pretty sure that did actually happen. I would have remembered that part. Oh, come on. You're surprised he's sick? I've never seen the guy wash his hands. Not once. One time I saw him pick his nose with a payphone. I'm just worried, man. Who knows if this stuff is contagious? For all we know, Caboose could be next. Wake up tomorrow morning, he's throwing up, running a huge fever. Next thing you know, he's bleeding out of his eyes because his internal organs are liquefying. And I'm going to be the one that has to hold his hand while he screams himself to death. It's not going to be any fun. I'm going to go take a vitamin. Oh, don't bother. It's too late for you anyway. We need to start thinking about me. Tell you what. Send me in, and I'll run cleanup. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of everything. Andy, I am not letting you blow up the base. Come on! Just a little explosion? Five, ten megatons tops. All your scary germs will be gone. Nothing left but the cockroaches. Germ-free cockroaches. But the Tucker will be dead, too. See? It's the perfect plan. No, but that does give me a good idea. Technically, you can't get sick. So why don't we send you in there to take care of Tucker? You can figure out what's wrong and report back to us. I ain't no nurse. I go in there, all you're gonna get is an explosion. You want a medical diagnosis, go see a doctor. What did you just say? I said you don't need me. You need a doctor. Please don't do it. Someone get the phone! Por que no lo levantas usted? You fool! Can't you see I'm busy with an evil plot? What do I pay you for? Para limpiar después de sus diagramas fallados. Oh, no, shut up, you fool! You don't even have a body! Si, debido de sus diagramas fallados. Why all this bickering? Can't we all just get along? And answer the damn phone! Por que tenemos tantos mil maquinas apocalípticas? Pero no tenemos máquina del contestar la teléfono. I find you far too sarcastic for just a head. Sarge, finally, I need to tell you what the Blues are planning. I thought I told you idiots not to let this traitor scumbag in the base. Good to see you too, sir. We didn't let him in the base. He's standing right here. Well, obviously, he penetrated the defensive protocol that me and Private Donut established. Defense protocol? You asked me what the password was. And you knew it. I guessed it. By the way, the password was password. It's so obvious, it's impossible to guess. Diabolical. A password should contain at least one number and one letter. For example, your password would be too dumb to live. Excellent bird. Thank you, sir. Traitor. Damn it. Your stupidity aside, 
I'm not speaking with you until we punish your insubordination and treason. How about I just trade you the information that I learned from the Blues? No! We have to have a trial! Right here, right now! What? We don't even have a judge. In affirmative. In my civilian life, I worked as a judge for many years. What level? Municipal? Federal? Livestock. And occasionally agriculture. Now let's find out if Simmons is guilty of treason or best in breed. I don't recognize the authority of this court. No one cares what a convicted criminal thinks. But aren't I innocent until you prove me guilty? Nonsense! Why would we waste time having trials for innocent people? That would be a waste of resources. But I'm not guilty until you hold trial and convict me. So you admit it's a foregone conclusion? No, wait. I mean, no. Yes, no. That was right, I think. Okay. This is officially more boring than any of the other times I've been to court. Permission to sigh and walk away, sir? Permission denied. If you leave, Simmons won't have anybody to defend him. Whoa, 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 wait a second. I prefer to defend myself. I knew you'd say that. And as the old saying goes, a person who chooses to defend himself has a fool for a lawyer. And that fool is Griff. Who's the prosecution? Well, I am, of course. You're the judge and the prosecutor? That's a conflict of interest. I object to that as speculative. And I also sustain my own objection. Uh, we'd like to enter a plea. What? Look, it's only a matter of time before Donut finds out we're having this trial. I'm listening. Well, if you're the judge and the DA, and I'm the defense, you know Donut's going to want to be the bailiff, and that means he's going to want to wear the cop uniform with the short shorts. Oh, Officer Hot Pants. Exactly. And I think we can all remember that dance routine from Sarge's birthday party. Oh my god, that cake is huge! It's big enough to fit a person in it! Why does the cake smell like baby oil? Oh god, where's Donut? Mm, okay. We'll commute Simmons' sentence in favor of time served. With time off for good behavior. No one wants a messy trial. I also think you should pay a hefty fine, which we can split. Agreed. But I didn't do anything. You just keep your mouth shut, and don't talk to the press. Hey, what's going on in there? Nothing! Nothing. <laughs> now be careful. Don't give away our position with maniacal laughing. We don't know what to expect from these fools. This could all be an elaborate trap. And we don't want to be caught off guard. You mean, get caught in a trap before we have a chance to spring our trap? Precisely, you fool. Now shut up. At least we have a lookout. Lopez, what you see up there? Nada mucho. Como siempre. Esta lugar espira. I haven't been here in some time. Which one is the blue base? It's the blue one. Oh, yes. They're really thinking outside the box with the design. Hmm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Now suddenly it's too loud. I preferred it when it was quiet. All right, hold it right there. Yo vi un hombre. Tiene un arma. Yes, I see that. Thank you for keeping us informed, you moron. Yeah, that was just a warning shot, O'Malley. You make any funny moves, the next one's gonna go right in the middle of your visor. You think you can make that shot from here? Uh, probably not. I was actually trying to hit him that time. I swear to God, I think somebody fucks with the sights on this thing when I'm not looking. I knew it! This was just some elaborate scheme to lure us into an ambush! First of all, I don't know if calling you on the phone and inviting you over, I don't know if that qualifies as an elaborate scheme. And secondly, we're not ambushing you. We just want to lay down some ground rules for your visit. I'm not very big on rules, you know. It's true! We have the system back at the evil lair where we each clean on different days, but I always end up doing it! Oh, shut up! And he always leaves the milk out! You fool, be quiet! And don't even get me started on the phone, Bill! Hey, Doc. I see you're still swimming around in that head somewhere, too. Well, it's not the ideal situation, but any relationship requires work if you- You fool! This isn't a relationship. I'm just using your body to fulfill my evil plans. When we're done, I'm going to throw your rotting carcass into a swamp. And let the beasts feed on your entrails. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Oh, shut up. Well, don't get any bright ideas about jumping into anyone else today, O'Malley. We've all got our radios off, and we've all got our minds cleared. We're not thinking about anything. For some of us, that was easier than others. I just finished thinking about something, and didn't start thinking about anything else. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to come in, you're going to take a look at Tucker, you're going to tell us what's wrong, and then you're going to leave. Hmm, and what do we get? What do you want? And I should warn you, Tex is not here. So if you have any cute ideas for her, don't bother. Well, a standard physical usually requires a $20 copay. Hey, ask him what kind of health insurance plan they have. You fool, let me negotiate. We want something from you, but we're not going to tell you what it is until we need it. <laughs> no way. I'm not agreeing to something without knowing what it is. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. You will or your little friend Tucker will die. Die a most horrible death. And you know his blood will be on your hands 
years from now, you'll drive yourself mad wondering if there was anything you could have done to save him. So you will agree to what I want. You will agree even though what I want is something mysterious. What I want is something frightening. What I want is something pure evil! <laughs> I've also been told that a twenty dollar copay is pretty much standard. All right, fine. Ha! Ha! <laughs> you fool! And we want the twenty dollars up front. Fine. And in cash. Uh, whatever. Ah, you moron! If you'd used the credit card, you could have gotten airline miles, or at least a thirty day grace period with no interest. You fiscally irresponsible fools! Caboose, give me twenty dollars. Wait, give me thirty dollars. Come on, double time, man. That goes double for you, Griff. Why are we always double-timing, anyway? Can't we ever half-time? Or how about no-time? No, no numb nuts. According to Simmons, the Blues have already re-established contact with their command. What? That's why we're running? Of course. By now, they could be receiving reinforcements. Or taking advantage of some new technological weapons development. Or maybe their command has been giving them the same generic orders ours always gives us, like, try to win and do better than you're currently doing. I swear, sometimes I think they don't even know our names. That's just what I wanted you to hear. The conversations I had with Command always provided vital intelligence. Like what? Like the location of the Blue Base. Right there. And the number of soldiers they have. Three. Also, the location of the base. Uh, you already said that one. I meant our base. Weren't we the ones that provided them the intel in the first place? Initially, yes. But Command processes our raw data and gives us back the key details. You may recall they sent us plans for the next phase of the war. They were stored in Lopez before he was kidnapped. You mean before he ran away? No, I mean shut up, Griff! But how do we even know he still has the plans? Last time we saw him, all that was left was the head. Maybe he stored the files in his legs or his chest. You idiot! Who stores memories in their chest? Don't you know anything about biology? The chest is strictly reserved for digestion. Maybe they'll send us more reinforcements like last time. Donut's arrival was a real turning point in the offensive. Where is Donut? Oh, there he is. Looks like he's talking to something. Looks like a rock. Griff! What? I need information on that rock ASAP! Approach the target via a flanking maneuver and establish deflate at that ledge! Point Alpha! Or I could just look through the scope of the sniper rifle since that's worked the last 800 times. Yeah, alright, fine. Take all the fun out of it. I like my way better. It was more dangerous for you. Sarge, I have great news. Looks like you're gonna get your plans after all. And I'm not gonna have to do any more running. So everybody wins. What about me? I didn't win anything. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure there'll be somebody's ass you can kiss. Andy, this is Doc. Doc, this is Andy. Uh, Andy, Doc is, uh, he's here to help Tucker. And he's also our worst enemy. You know, besides the Reds. And Tex on certain days. Well, thank you for introducing me to your bowling ball. Hello, bowling ball. Actually, I'm a bomb. It can talk. Why is that the first thing everybody says to me? A talking bomb, you say? Mm, I could use a fellow like you in my organization. <laughs> yeah, I should probably point out that Andy here was specifically designed to blow up and kill you. I see. Well, this is certainly awkward. Kaboom! Satan's Funyun! <laughs> I was just kidding. I didn't really explode. <laughs> Good one. Yes, highly amusing. Lopez? Donut, where did you find him? Right here. How are you two talking? Lopez, do you speak English now? No. Well, if he doesn't, then why did he just say no in English? Busted. I took four years of high school Spanish. That's the best way to learn any language. What have you two been talking about? Oh, the usual Spanish fair. I told him my name. I asked him what his name was. I asked if he knew where the bathroom was. How much a ticket for the train cost. And I asked him for the check. Haga por favor que el hombre orzado para el hablando con mi. Ask him where he's been. No, ask him where he's going. Wait, ask him if he has our secret plans. And if he missed me. Lopez, que es el tiempo? Voy a ir a la playa con mi primo que juge a tenis. Yo comio un lapis. Adios. Hmm, looks like he's not talking, Sarge. All right, he wants to play tough, huh? I built in override codes for just such an event. Lopez, give me root access. Priority Delta 1. Proidad un permito. Por favor, diga el access code. The access code is... Access code. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Ah, bitch about it later. Access o concedido. Lopez, replay the intel message from command. 
Okay. See? Okay? I'm telling you, this guy's faking. Hola, hola. Ese tu escúcheme. Hola. Hola, hombres de God Sangrosa. Gracias por la información. Muy provechosas. Oh, come on. The recording is in Spanish? That doesn't even make any sense. This guy sounds just like the guy the blues were talking to, Vic Jr. I'll bet his kids change sides. Ex Benedict Arnold, those dirty traitors. No offense, Simmons. None taken, sir. You traitor. God damn it. Wait. How did Vic have kids? I thought he had a vasectomy. Well, that's just what I heard. We've got to figure out what he's saying. Donut, can you translate or can't you? Uh, I think he's saying something about losing his passport. Well, when I was in Blue Base, Church mentioned they built a translation device out of an old bomb. He can no doubt to decipher their plans to destroy us. If we don't translate the tactical plans Lopez is saying, we're all doomed. También hacer mejor que usted ha estado haciendo y ganar, por favor. Okay, hombre. Au revoir. That information could save our very lives! Why don't we sneak into the blue base, grab the translation device, and use it on our message? I agree. Let me get this straight. We're going to steal a bomb from our enemies. A bomb that can be remotely detonated, I might add. And then we're going to bring it back to our base and all huddle around it. What a great plan. Well, sure, it sounds stupid when you say it like that. Come on, let's move! Somebody grab Lopez's cabeza! Of course! That's not the cabeza, Donut. And that's not Lopez! Oh, God. I think it's coming back up. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna give Tucker his physical now. Would either of you like to assist? That's just a fancy way of saying who is the vomit bucket. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm busy. Caboose? I can't. Well, why not? Oh, because uh, I am allergic to things that I don't want to do. <coughs> Coughing. Okay, just more fun for me. Well, you won't believe this. It looks like the Blues have teamed up with O'Malley. Those dirty backstabbers. Our enemies teamed up with our enemy. How is that a backstab? Exactly. No good two-timers. All right, men. Let's get in there and acquire that exploding translator thing so we can figure out what Lopez is saying. No mas va estar decepcionado. I agree, Lopez. Time is of the essence. Por que estás contestando si usted no sabe que estoy diciendo? <laughs> good one, amigo. Dios mío. Por favor, alguien mate me. I see the bomb. He's right next to Caboose. Which one is Caboose again? I get confused. Is he the stupid mean one? The stupid annoying one? Or the stupid stupid one? Stupid stupid. Oh, yeah, right. What an idiot. Yeah, totally. Sarge, I hate to point out the obvious, but since we can see them with a sniper rifle, why don't we just shoot them? Shame on you, Donut. A sniper rifle is a coward's weapon. When you kill your enemy... You want to look in his eyes so he knows you're the one who beat him to death. It also gives you a chance to deliver some really zippy one-liners. Like, I hope you brought your wallet because the rent in hell gets paid in advance. Oh, my God. Or my personal favorite, you just got sarged. <laughs> Classic. Lo significo. Deseo morir. Yep. And hand combat is the old school way to kill your foes. It harkens back to the honored traditions when combatants respected one another. Killing a man with your bare hands says, we're all equals as men. Except I'm slightly more equal because I'm still alive and you're dead. Of course, dropping a nuke on them from 50,000 feet is also totally acceptable. I mean, let's face it, there's just not enough time in this busy world to show everybody the courtesy of a good strangling. See? That right there is why society's going downhill. Everyone's in such a hurry these days. Yeah, 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 we get the point. Wasting time. Okay, what was the plan, Sarge? You fellas stay here. I'm gonna head up there with Lopez and get that device. Get it, Lopez? Head up there. Score two for Sarge. Ding, ding. Dios mio. Hey, guys. I figured out what's wrong. What is it, Doc? You're not going to like the diagnosis. <laughs> Which is ironic, because I think it's absolutely delightful. <laughs> Just tell us, Doc. We can take it. Your friend is... Dying? Oh, no. No, he's not dying. He just says... No chance to live. I knew it. Caboose? One more interruption out of you, and he's going to have two patients. <sighs> How do I say this? Your friend is... Why are you pausing? Caboose is not going to interrupt you this time. No, that was just for dramatic effect. He's pregnant. Oh, good. Wait, what? <laughs> Preggers. <laughs> All right, are we paying for this service? Because if we are, I want a refund. And if we're not, I want a refund anyway. No, it's true. We found two heartbeats. So unless he has two hearts, the only logical explanation is that he's pregnant. I think. How is that a logical explanation? All right, 
one of the two of you has some explaining to do. <laughs> Don't look at me! Tucker's not my type! Tsha, me neither. And, uh, maybe we should, uh, have the doctor explain, uh, just how babies are made, you know, uh, in case someone in the group, uh, may not exactly know how that Happens. Oh my god, Caboose, shut up. Andy, blow up. Doc, you're fired. Get out of here. I'm gonna go shoot Tucker. No! You said we had to tell you what was wrong. You didn't say we had to be right. Or that we had to fix him. You fool! <laughs> Read the fine print. Classic blunder. <laughs> First of all, I am right. Now we are going to help him. What? what? Look, no one's ever seen anything like this before. I don't know anything about what caused this, or how to help him, but with heart and true determination... We can get him through this! Yeah, we don't want heart and determination, Doc. What we want is a degree from an accredited medical institution. Yeah! A four years equivalent work experience! <sighs> Come see for yourself. Fine. Uh, I think I need to stay here and guard this rock from Tucker. Because I'm pretty sure that's how all this started. Alright, what's wrong? You seem nervous. Wait, if Tucker is contagious, I do not want to catch pregnancy. Hey, no one is pregnant. And seriously, Caboose, when I get done with this, we gotta have a little talk, man. There's a book I've got that we can read together. I'd like that. Maybe you can have the bowling ball fill you in on some of the basics. <laughs> Let me get you started. There's three holes. <laughs> oh, gross. I mentioned the bowling ball. Hey, Caboose. Level with me, pal. I don't really look like a bowling ball, do I? No, Andy. <laughs> You're not nearly that fat. Because I've been working out, you know. Dumbbells, push-ups, crunches. Yoink. What? Andy? Andy? What happened to you? Rapido. Antes de que se vuelvan, cabe un agallero y entierme, por favor. Andy! You turned into a real boy! See, boys? Now that's how you run a successful op. In and out like well lubricated lightning. Where's Lopez? <laughs> I pulled the old switcheroo. Lopez was the same size and shape as this fella, so I just swapped him out. Just like Indiana Jones would have done. <laughs> They'll never even know he was missing. Thank God he's a little lighter than the last time we saw him. Finally, somebody noticed. Do you know how hard it is to maintain this figure? You swapped Lopez for the bomb. Permission to speak insultingly, sir? Permission denied. You're just jealous because you didn't think of it first. <laughs> now let's translate. Where's Lopez? Oh, hell. I'll be right back. Now you see, Andy, now we can go fishing, and you don't have to be the bait anymore, and we can hiking, and we can go camping, and you don't have to be the fire anymore, and we can ride it together, and now we can hold hands, and we can fly kites, and we can play tag, and we can drink horse juice together. Hey, Caboose! You hear something behind you! I do? I wonder what's causing it. Double yoink. Andy? Oh my god! Andy! You're dead! How did this happen? You were so young! It's all my fault! I should have seen the warning sign. I didn't even know you were smoking. It worked so fast. You had so much to live for. So much exploding to do. Oh, God. Who will blow stuff up now? I don't want to live in a world without exploding. You hear that, God? Are you proud of yourself? Now that you've created a world with no large explosions, why couldn't you just take
believe this? It's true! Your friend Tucker is pregnant! See? My little gizmo lights up green to indicate pregnancy. I thought it lights up green to indicate flesh wounds. Yeah, also that. And infectious diseases. Yeah, it lights up green for just about everything. It takes a while to figure out the difference. Like this green indicates a high level of anger stemming from suppressed feelings of inadequacy. If that thing keeps talking bad about me, I'm gonna fucking smash it. And this green means impotency. Oops, actually that green causes impotency. My bad, church. Oh, that's okay. I wasn't using it anyway. See? These tools can be confusing sometimes. That's why doctors have to go to school for so long. Not that I'm actually a doctor, mind you. And that's never been more apparent than with this diagnosis. Oh, what diagnosis? Congratulations, Tucker. You're pregnant. <laughs> with bastard. <laughs> it's not mine. I wasn't even in town that weekend. Tucker, don't listen to him. He's a lunatic, man. He's got no idea what he's talking about. Uh, you want me to go over the green light thing again? Doctor, help. My second best friend is dead. Fix him. Whoa, 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 Caboose. What happened? Who's dead? Andy! Andy is dead! Look! Okay, that's disgusting. Dr. Doc, please help him. Uh, I don't know what I can really do to help him. My first aid procedures aren't very effective after decomposition. Where did you get that? First Tucker dies and now Andy! Tucker isn't dead, he's pregnant. It's not mine! We weren't even going steady! Stop that. Hey, look, man, I've been saying that for a long time. It's gonna take a little while to get used to this. You're not pregnant. I was just standing outside the base, and someone told me to turn around, and when I did, did... Whoa, wait, who told you to turn around? I don't know, but they were very helpful. And let me guess, when you turned back around, Andy was gone. Yes, he was gone. <sighs> Everybody stay here. I'll be right back. Wait! What do you want me to do about the pregnant guy? It's not mine. He is not pregnant. And what about Andy? And that's not Andy! Just look, stay here! Ah, uh, would this be a bad time to mention that my stomach just started hurting really bad? Oh boy. Caboose? Better go boil some water. How can you think of soup at a time like this? Here are your orders for winning the war. Eliminate the enemy. Okay, also, try to do better than you are currently doing. And please win. Thank you. That's totally, totally lame. And not at all surprising. Which is also totally, totally lame. I don't know about that, Griff. I think there was actually some valuable tactical information in there. Right, Sarge? Simmons, have you lost your last marble? That was pure nonsense! Oh, that's what I meant. Eliminate the enemy? What kind of plan is that? I think Commander's lost it. Lost it? When did they have it? Uh, speaking of the enemy, here comes one now. Hey, let's eliminate him. Then we'll have one less thing in the to-do list. <sighs> I'm just so depressed. I can't even threaten your life for being a total jackass. Jackass? I'll kill you. Nah, I don't think eliminating him is gonna be easy. It looks like he's bringing his tank with him. What are you talking about, Donut? The tank isn't coming out here. Look, it's not even moving. Yes, it is. Look! Hey, Sarge, cheer up. I've known Command was stupid all along. It can be hard at first, but you'll get used to it. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Donut, I am looking. If it was getting closer, it would be getting bigger. It is getting bigger. Compare it to that tree! What tree? There aren't any trees out here. You want to call me an idiot, Sarge? That always makes you feel better. Oh, shut up, moron. Ah, feels better, right? Yeah, I guess a little. Nope. Not moving. Yes, it is! See? Look closer! Okay, you're right. It's coming this way. Run! Firing main cannon. Firing main cannon. Run! Regroup, men! Griff, start passing out additional ammo! Uh... Simmons, pass out the ammo you brought because you knew Griff would forget! Already on it, sir. Return fire, men! I'll call for reinforcements! Command! 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 Hey, dude, come in. Hey, what's going on? That sounds like fun. Vic, we need help! Simmons, get busy negotiating a surrender. Okay, how about we give him our base? Oh, good idea! We could live in the caves! We could let them kill Griff! Simmons, you're supposed to negotiate their surrender, not ours! Vic, are you still there? Hey, Blues! Oh! I mean, Blue! We're only gonna give you one chance to surrender! What? Why would I- Hey, hold on a second, Sheila. Why would I surrender? Uh, because you're outnumbered! Bullshit, dude! I got a tank! People with tanks are never outnumbered! We also think that it's your turn to surrender! What?! Well, if you'll recall, first you surrendered, and you guys gave us Doc. And then we surrendered, and we gave you the Jeep! Now, that means that Sheila, shut him up. Son of a bitch! Is that a no? Okay, look.
Okay, look, guys, I don't mean to be rude, but I got a missing girlfriend, a guy who's pregnant, an idiot who thinks his pet just died, and our worst enemy is hanging out unsupervised at our base right now. So I really, really, really don't have time for this horse shit right now. Uh, what was that part about the pregnant guy? He's not pregnant! That's impossible! <laughs> yeah! Unless the alien impregnated him. Because <laughs> that's what they do. They infect the host with a parasitic embryo. <laughs> but, but you already knew that, right? Right? What? No! Why didn't you tell us that could happen? Uh, I mean, uh, alien, baby. How could that have happened? I am shocked as you are. Company insurance come in. Caboose, what did I tell you, man? You're not supposed to use the radio while O'Malley's here. Oh, great. Now I'm on the radio, too. Oh, that, that's why I'm calling to tell you. Uh, the Reds already use their radio, and O'Malley's gone. Oh, my God. That's right, Blue. We've called in the cavalry. As we speak, the glorious Red Command is sending a ship to aid us. No doubt it's a battle cruiser of the highest magnitude. It's time to end this thing once and for all. Oh, he, 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 who? Ah! Congratulations, it's a thing. Ugh. What was that? Oh, uh, that's the other thing I called about. Uh, Tucker had his gross baby. It's not mine. He is not pregnant. Sheila, stay here. If anybody moves, shoot them. A baby? Wait up! I want to see... Donut, get back here! Wait for the ship! But Sarge, we don't know when the ship is going to get here. It's coming all the way from Earth. That could take days, or weeks, or months, or even years! Ship's here. Shotgun!